Hey everybody, Mrs. Bixler, I'm back again, and we are still crushing chapter six. Um, and now we're going to start talking about writing equations of lines. And um, I know some of you might have heard uh, sort of this method before about what do you spy. But we're going to go into more detail um, now that we know a lot more about parallel and perpendicular lines. So let's jump right into it. Anytime we talk about writing equations of lines, we talk about what do you spy. So no matter what, you always, always, always need the slope of your line. You always need the slope. So this is like the number one thing you need is your slope. And then you will either use a point or the y-intercept. Now, for our purposes right now, because we only know slope-intercept form, we are going to be really using the slope and the y-intercept for the most part. Um, there are always going to be little ex exceptions, but um, we'll be doing this point part a little bit later. So don't worry about that. Um, but right now we're focusing on slope-intercept form. So let's jump right into it. So let's say that I gave you this question and I asked you to write the equation of the line with a slope of one half and a y-intercept of five. So you wanna ask yourself, what do I spy? No matter what, I know that I always need the slope. And then I'm gonna be looking for a point or for the y-intercept. And remember, we're really gonna be using the slope and the y-intercept for now. So pause the video and write the equation. All right, we're back. So hopefully you got Ba, ba, da, ba. y equals one half x minus five. And the reason why we know that, this is really snoozy, but we know that our slope is a half and our y-intercept is negative five. I've got the slope, I've got the intercept, I can use slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b, you done, moving on. All right, now let's try this one. So no matter what, we always, always, always need the slope, which we've got. But then you'd be like, wait, Mrs. Bix, We've got a point here. We've got 0, 9. So, shoot, I don't know what to do with that because I don't know point-slope form yet. It's coming, don't worry. But I don't know point-slope form yet. When in doubt, sketch it out, my friends. Pause the video, sketch this little line out, and uh, then write the equation. All right, we're back. So hopefully you sketched this little line out, boopa, boopa, and you figured out, wait, this point, 0, 9? This is a really important point. This is actually my y-intercept. And then using the slope, down three over one, it looks about like that, right? There's my line. So the equation of your line here would just be y equals negative three x plus nine. All right, let's get a little bit trickier. So now we see something different. So now I have a y-intercept of seven, okay? So there's my y-intercept of 7, but then I need to find uh, the slope here, because remember, you always, always, always need the slope. So I know that this line is parallel to this line. Pause the video and try to figure it out. All right, we're back. So hopefully you figured out parallel lines have the same slope. So if my new line is parallel to a line with a slope of 4, my new line is also going to have a slope of 4. So the equation of this line is y equals 4x plus 7. Beautiful. Fabulous. All right. Moving on. Here we go. Ooh. Why don't you pause the video? Try this one on your own. All right. We're back. So this one, you've got a y-intercept of 7. Easy peasy. Give me something harder. But now my slope I know that this line is perpendicular to this line. So remember, I always need the slope, but my new line is perpendicular to this. So remember, perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So hopefully you got the equation of y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 7, because the opposite reciprocal of 4 is negative 1 fourth. Good? Fabulous. All right, scooching on. Here we go. Now I want you to try this one. Do it. Okay, we're back. So remember, you always, always, always need the slope. So the very first thing you need to do is find the slope between these two coordinate points. So hopefully you did that and you figured out your slope. And then, shoot, do I have a point? You do. You've got two of them, actually, 0, 6 and 1, 9. But remember, this 0, 6 is a special point. 
NIST is our y-intercept. So hopefully you got y equals 3x plus 6. So your slope you'd get from doing 9 minus 6 over 1 minus 0. So you'd get 3 over 1, or just 3 for your slope. Excellent. Okay, scooching on. Ooh, pause the video. Come back. All right, we're back. So remember, the very first thing you always have to do is find your slope. So hopefully you were finding your slope and you did 9 minus 9 over negative 3 minus 1. So you got 0 over neg negative 4. Negative 4. All right, remember, 0 divided by anything is always 0. Always. I can take 0. I can divide it as many times as I want between all my friends. They're going to get nothing, but everybody still gets nothing. At least it's even. So, huh. Interesting. My slope is zero. So think about slope, dude. If he's having zero fun, what does the line look like? It's horizontal. So remember, we did all that work with vertical and horizontal lines. So let's think about what on earth my equation could possibly be here. So if I sketch this out, if I'm ever in doubt, I'm going to plot these two points, negative three, nine, and one, nine. It's sort of a crude drawing. What's the equation of this line? If you notice, y is always going to be equal to 9. So I have negative 3, 9, and I've got 1, 9. If I plot this point, it's 0, 9. Any point that I plot along this line will have 9 as its y coordinate. So thus, this equation is y equals 9. Woohoo! Okay, next one. Pause the video, try it. Okay, we're back. So hopefully first thing you did is you said, I know I gotta find my slope. So I'm gonna do nine minus negative six, and then one minus one. It doesn't matter what's on the top. It could be gobbledygook. In this case, it's 15. 15 divided by zero. Remember, a number over zero is no, no way. So this is going to be an undefined slope. So again, think about slope dude. When he falls off that cliff, he yells the worst curse word in all math mathematics. Undefined, right? So he's un it's undefined, terrible. So sorry for you, slope dude, that you're falling off the cliff. But we do know that our line looks like this. So if we are worried here, we're gonna sketch a little graph and I'm going to plot my two points. So I get one, negative six, and one, nine, ooh, I know, again, a crude drawing, I've got one, nine, one, negative six. If I had to make up what that was, I know it would be one comma zero. So what do you notice on this line? Every single one of my x coordinates is one. So hopefully you got x equals one as your equation. All right, last problem. So here we go. Pause the video and then come back. All right, we're back. So hopefully you figured out, I know that I've got to get my slope first. So if this line is perpendicular to the sky, I've got to get the opposite reciprocal of this, which is negative one sixth. And my Y intercept is 23. So hopefully you got bum ba da bum. Y equals negative one sixth plus 23. You're done. Go tackle the homework and I'll see you soon. Thanks.